everybody welcome to today's video can you hear that noise hopefully you can't hear that noise but i think they're doing like some type of work outside but that's okay it is my official first day of work but i got here too early turns out i don't have to be here until 9 and i got here at 8 20. i guess that's good that i'm not late i have like 40 minutes and instead of sitting here in my car there's a coffee shop in the corner by where i'm going to work so i'm gonna go there maybe get a coffee eat some breakfast and then come back and uh, get the keys to my new classroom which is kind of exciting <laughs> Okay, I was in my classroom for like five hours and I feel like I didn't really do a lot, but I did do a lot of staring. I was just taking it all in, you know? Right now, I wanna go to Michael's because I wanna see the teacher planners that they have. The planners are 40% off right now and they literally only have four planners left, so I think I'm gonna have to get it online. All right, we got some stuff. I couldn't find any of the teacher planners. Like, I literally just saw four planners, and then right when I was about to give up, I found them. I decided on this one because it's simple, and it has 24, 25, which is the new school year. I feel like this is definitely the vibe I was going for. I also got these stickers because they were also 40% off. These are specifically for teacher planners. And then while I was walking around trying to find the teacher planners, I saw saw this book perler bead patterns i've been wanting to get some different patterns because i have all the materials i just don't have the patterns for kids to make stuff and it was only three dollars but yeah that's all i got they have so much back to school stuff that's super cute i have a lot of stuff i don't need to buy any of it It is now like a few days later. You can see the little stuffer behind me. I'm still working on bringing stuff into the classroom and setting it up, but it's taking me a long time because I kind of just sit there and stare at the walls because I don't really know what I want to do for my classroom walls and the furniture layout. So I'm still thinking about that. I am going to go in today to set up the classroom, but I did want to talk to you about the books that I've been reading. I just finished reading this book called 13 by Steve Cavanaugh on my Kindle and it was really really good. I gave it four stars. It's about this serial killer who infiltrates the jury on his own murder trial but he is framing a famous actor for the murder that he committed and in order to get the jury to say that the actor is guilty the actual murderer gets himself on the jury by killing one of the jury members impersonating him and then getting himself on the jury it was very interesting it was a little hard to follow but i still give it four stars because it was really good we kind of knew like who the killer was because it says it in the very beginning but just the things that he does is so crazy like this this guy is crazy. And I also got my book of the month order. I think I got like two books. Oh, I'm 
so excited. I haven't gotten a book of the month in like forever. They always send this cool little bookmark, which is great because I'm always losing my bookmarks. And the back says, I've been expecting you. I don't know what this is. What is this? It says volume zero, a spell for disappearing. Oh, it's a free story. That's so cool. They gave me a free story, like a little mini one. That's so cool. I got two books. The first one is Five Star Stranger um, by Kat Tang. This is what it looks like. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you heard it. I'm the first one to open this book. It's so cool. Would you hire someone to be the best man at your wedding? Your stand-in brother? The father to your child? Oh, okay. So I think this is about... Wait, I don't even know. Let me just read it. I'm starting to remember what this is. So it's about this guy who is supposed to be the father of a child of this little girl, but he's not really her father. He was just hired to pretend to be, but then somebody kind of like figures out that that's not true. And it also said that it's an unreliable narrator. So I'm kind of excited and it doesn't seem too long. It's only 227 pages. So yeah, I'm excited to read this one. And then I also got The Wedding People. Ugh, I just love opening these books! A propulsive and uncommonly wise novel about one unexpected wedding guest. So this is about a girl who kind of invites herself to a wedding. I don't know if she like ruins it. Hopefully not, but it sounds like they become friends. So yeah, I'm excited to read this one too. I also got another book actually, not from Book of the Month, but this one my father gave me and it's Just for the Summer by Abby Jimenez. And I have really been wanting to read this all summer long. And I know my summer vacation is slowly coming to an end, but I really want to read this before I officially start work because I don't start teaching until August 21st, which is a couple weeks away. But this is a thick book, but I do want to start it. So I'm really glad that my father got me this one. He didn't know that I wanted to read this, but when he gave it to me, he was like, here, I got you this book. I was like, oh my gosh, this is the one that I've been wanting the entire summer. So yeah, that was pretty cool. Also, I don't know if you know this, but Fourth Wing is actually on Kindle Unlimited. So I kind of started reading the first chapter, like half of the first chapter, and it's really interesting. Like it started off really good. So I also want to finish this before summer ends. I don't know if I could read two books just because I have a lot of things to do, but this one is also on audiobook. So I got the audiobook version from my public library, but they also have it on Spotify. So if you have Spotify Premium, you can actually listen to the audiobook for fourth wing so i think i'm gonna listen to the audiobook while i'm setting up my classroom that way i get a little bit further into this and then i'm gonna read just for the summer when i get home after work so i'll kind of be reading two books at the same time which is kind of hard for me because i always forget what i'm reading maybe i'll focus on just for the summer because it is a summer book and fourth wing i could just read for the fall because i feel like fantasy is more more fall vibes. Also, look at these cute little stickers. This one's my favorite, T-Rex, and this one, Girl Math, hilarious. And the little pop socket, it has strawberries. It's so cute. This vlog was kind of like a little bit of everything. It was kind of like the last week of my summer break and also starting my new job, which was really exciting. I'm really excited to start this new journey. I did move back home where I'm originally from. So I'm excited to explore this town, this city as an adult. I remember as a kid, I just wanted to leave and I did leave when I turned 18 and went to college and then I didn't come back until now. I'm a little, you know, anxious, a little worried to, you know, start new. But overall, I'm excited. I'm excited to be with my family. I'm excited to start this new school year and just explore the town that I grew up in as an adult. I know it's gonna be different, it's gonna be better, it's gonna be great, I'm excited. I definitely wanna vlog more of this experience just because it's so new and I feel like it's, it's gonna be great. Hopefully it's great. I feel like I said that last year and it was kind of like meh, you know? But I feel, I, I don't know, I just have a good feeling about this year 
or the rest of this year and i want to vlog my experience just so i can see how i started all of my thoughts experiences i feel like that would be good um, and it's also really fun making these videos. I'm going to end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.